going to trying to talk about is the nuclear equations that I want you to be able to see it on your screen. And um, this is where we are. I want us to look at the alpha particle emission. We said when a nuclide loses an alpha particle, the mass number decreases by four, while the atomic number decreases by two. This leads to the formation of a new element since the atomic number changes. Now look at how we represent the, the equation. We are using the b to the element x. If you look at x, the mass number is a, atomic number is z. When we lose alpha particle, as you can see, we have alpha on the right. That helium is, is the alpha particle. We get a new element y. That new element y will have mass number of a minus four, an atomic number of Z minus two. So the mass number has decreased by four and atomic number decreased by two. Look at the typical example. When you have uranium 235, when uranium 235 loses an alpha, it forms thorium. Now look at the new mass number. The new, the new mass number is 231. Whereas the new atomic number is 90. <clears throat> so when you have a uranium 235 losing an alpha particle, you form thorium 231. You see you're forming thorium because the new atomic number is 90. And the element whose atomic number is 90 is thorium. Look at radon. When radon loses an alpha particle, the mass number uh, goes down by four to 218. The atomic number goes down by two to 84. That is how the nuclear equation will look like when radon 222 loses an alpha particle. I want you to realize that we've balanced. We've balanced the mass numbers. On the left, for uranium, Roman one, the mass number is 235. And to the right, you take 231 for thorium plus 4 for the alpha to give you 235. The same thing for the atomic number. On the left-hand side of, of uh, that equation, we have 92 for uranium. On the right-hand side, we have 90 plus 2. That is the atomic number of thorium and the one for the, the alpha particle. So you have balanced the atomic numbers and the mass numbers. That is the nuclear equation representing alpha particle emission. What about beta particle? Look at this second point. That when a nuclide loses a beta particle, the atomic number increases by one, but the mass number remains unchanged. Why will the atomic number increase by one? Because during alpha particle emission, a neutron in the nucleus changes to a proton. That's what happens when a beta particle is being emitted. We convert a neutron to become a proton. And in the, in the process, an electron is emitted, as you can see, in that equation showing how we conduct or do the beta emission. However, this is not very important. What is important is the mass number will not change but the atomic number goes up by one. It goes up by one because a neutral converts to become a proton. The summary is given down here. If you have an element X, an atom X, whose mass number is A, an atomic number is Z, it emits a beta particle to form element Y, whose mass number is still A, but the atomic number has increased by one to become Z plus one. Of course, what we are having here is that beta particle emitted, zero mass number negative one E. That is the symbol of a beta particle. An example, look at how thorium 234 emits a beta in this equation. You can see that thorium, when it emits a beta particle, it forms a new element. 
actinium. This new element Pa has the same mass number of 234, but look at the atomic number, it has gone up to 91. It has gone up to 91. And then, of course, you are losing or emitting that beta particle, beta radiation. Now, this decrease or increase is dependent on just one beta particle. Now look at uh, Roman 2. Look at Roman 2, where we have thorium-234. But this thorium-234 has now lost three beta particles. Look at, look at, at the right. On the right, we have three. Three beta particles down here. Now, if you are losing three beta particles, the mass number will not change. It's going to just remain one. But because we are losing three beta particles, the atomic number will increase by three. That's why the value of A will be 234 and the value of Z will be 93, indicating that every single beta particle will increase the atomic number by one. So if there are two we are emitting, it is going to increase by two. However, the mass number remains, remains the same. Look at the, the third example where we have um, bismuth 214. When you have bismuth 214 and it loses a beta particle, it forms a new element PO, whose atomic number is 84. It has increased from 83 to 84, but the mass number remains the same. However, if you are to balance the mass numbers and atomic numbers of these equations, they are the same on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Like for bismuth, on the left, the mass number is 214. On the right is 214 plus zero. It gives you 214. The atomic number is 83. On the right, you will have 84 plus negative one. Remember the atomic number of the, the beta is negative one. So if you take 84 plus negative one, you will still get 83 that you have on the left hand side. That's how we give the nuclear equation for beta and for particle emissions. As for, yeah. as for gamma, there is no effect. There is no change in both the mass number and the atomic number. Any question? Yeah, teacher. Yes. I wanted to ask, now for example, here in beta particles. Yes. There is uh, thorium. The, now, how will you know the, because in your equation, you can yes. see, 4490 thorium and then the other side is 23491 now the new element how will you know the new element which is oh, the new element you're not supposed to cram in, the, in such a question you can if you don't know the formula of the element you use you use the the letter x or y whichever any other element you want to use but meanwhile if we want you to name the element then you are given in the bracket the element whose atomic number is that so you are given somewhere in the question in the bracket that element whose atomic number is, let's say, 93, is this element. Element whose atomic number is 91 is pactinium. That you're not supposed to cram. You're just supposed to know the first 20 elements. If there's any other element you're supposed to know, you just be given the atomic number. And then from the atomic number, you will know the element. OK. All right. Now let's look at examples of uh, this question. Look at that exercise that you have on your screen. Can you read for us, Jaden? Below is a part of the radioactive decay series starting from the first month negative 214 and ending at lead negative 206. Bana, bana. This month 214 and lead 206. Identify. The particles emitted in steps. Yeah? I'm saying that one is not minus. Identify the particles emitted in steps one and two. Oh. It's all right. Now if you look at this series, step look one. At step one. Uh, Give us the particles emitted in steps one and two. Now look at step one. 
What does happen to the mass number, um, everyone? Mass number reduces by four. By four. What about atomic reduces number? Reduces by four. An atomic number? Reduces by two. So which particle is emitted there? Alpha. Alpha, Alpha particle. Step two? Mass Look number. Mass number. What does happen to the mass number? Pardon. Now, look, now look at step one, everyone. Chai, it is the better, better. Does not. In step, in step three is better, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Why better? Yeah. yeah, atomic number plus one and yeah, no, mass yes, no change in mass number. There is no change in mass. So in step two, we are emitting a beta particle because there is no change in mass number, but atomic number increases by one. Look at step three. Look at step three. Check this. It is still better. Yeah, better. It is still emission of a beta particle. Why? Uh, uh, change uh, plus one in atomic number. And mass number? Does not change. Does not change. Look at step four. Still better. Still better. It's a beta, beta particle emission. No change in mass number. Atomic number increases by one. Look at step five. Uh, alpha. Step five, we are emitting an alpha particle. Why? Uh, decreases by four in mass number and decreases by two in atomic number. Mass number decreases by four, whereas atomic the atomic number decreases by two. Yeah. So the answers are down there. Identify the particles emitted in steps one and two. Step one is alpha particles. Step two is beta particle. Write the nuclear equation for the reaction that takes place in step five. Now in step five, we are emitting a beta particle. So you're having PO two, 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 Two and then plus what you are emitting. You are emitting an alpha. And the symbol of alpha is 4, 2. In the above series that are isotopes. Now, which ones are isotopes in this series? Beginning all the way from Bismuth 214 to 206. Which ones are isotopes? Um, Bismuth. Bismuth for the first. That is, the first say, that is called Bismuth 214. Uh, Bismuth 214 and Bismuth Very good. 210. Why are they? Numbers. Very good. Any other isotopes you can see? Uh, lead to 10. Lead to 10 and, and? Lead to 06. Very good. Those are isotopes. The mass number is 210. For lead 210 and for lead 206, mass number is 206. The atomic number is the same. 82, 82. Now which ones are isobars? Which ones are isobars? Isobars Thallium. Yeah. Look at uh, Thallium 210 uh, and uh, Lead 210. Bismuth 210. PO 210. All of those are isobars. Yeah. Because their mass numbers are the same. The mass number for all of them, it is 210, 210, 210, 210. They only differ in atomic number. So those are isobars. Thallium 210, lead 210 are isobars. Lead 210 and bismuth 210 are also isobars. So isobars are atoms with the same mass number, but different atomic numbers. Any question? Sure. Yes. 
uh, all these elements that are, are unknown, are you going to be asked in exam to give their full names or no, the symbols? No, you will not. By the way, in chemistry, you don't, you don't encourage cramming. You will not be asked to name an element whose, whose atomic number is 83. No. You will, be, you will be given such a series. And you see this series has got names of those elements. Sure. Lead, 82, thorium, 81. And you can see, so long as the atomic number is 82, that element is lead. Sure. Yes. What about those questions you asked on the... Yeah, they, are, they are such, but they are rare. They are rare questions. They are not. They have not been asked in KCC. But of course, you must know the first twenty elements. But if you want to know the one for whose atomic number is thirty-five, that will be able to show you. But know for the first twenty. For now, if you know for the first twenty, you are safe. You are good to go. Is this worthwhile to know above twenty? Yes. Once you are ready and you are schooled. You can go extra. I will take us through that. What okay. you can do if the atomic number is let's say 40. Any other sure. question? Sure. Yes. So like, uh, uh, for example, uh, this uh, 1B, uh, yeah. where it says write the nuclear equation for the reaction that takes place in step five. Yes. When writing the nuclear uh, equation. Yes. Uh, you see, we have been given uh, on this right side yes. where we where we decreased four and four in mass number and two in atomic mm -hmm. number. Should you give the, the the name of that like he? No, that is helium. Um, that four not not helium but alpha. That four two he is helium. That is the symbol of of so not helium but alpha. An alpha particle has a symbol of 42HE. And because we have oh. said it in step five, we are emitting an alpha particle. That's why you're putting there that alpha particle we are emitting. Its symbol is mass number four, atomic number two, but the symbol of alpha is HE. Oh, I think, I think. All right. No. Yes. What about for beta? Beta is E. Beta, the symbol is E. Mass number zero. Atomic number negative one. Look at look at this one here. This Bismuth particle. It undergoes beta emission. Look at this equation. When we emit a beta particle, we are forming this PO whose mass number is 214, atomic number is 84. And then plus that beta we are losing. And the symbol of beta you can see there, it is 0, negative 1, E. That is the symbol of a beta particle. OK. Do you have any other question? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, on the sign of the beta. Uh, on the side of the beta sign, is it small e or capital A? Because uh, small e can also mean uh, electron. Yes, yeah, that's the symbol of an electron. But remember, an electron is the same as a beta particle. So beta particles have got a structure of an electron. Alpha particles have a structure of helium. That's why we are using the symbol for helium for alpha and the symbol for an electron for, for beta. Okay, thank you. All right. Any other question? Sure. I think. Sure. Uh, yes. And uh, and in a case where you're um, you're you're being asked for gamma, or does it? No, gamma you can't be asked. Gamma, there is no change. Like, look at the example I've given here. Look at the example that we have that I've given under gamma radiation on the screen. If you have an element X, whose mass number is A, atomic number Z, losing gamma, you can see that nothing happens. It yeah. remains the same element X. Mass number A, atomic number yeah. Z. The symbol of gamma is that 
So when gamma is being emitted, there is no new element being formed, only energy is given out. And we normally not give, we don't give nuclear equation for, for gamma emission. Because in, um, in the reality is, there is no new element formed in the course of gamma emission, gamma rays emission. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mali. Any other? Any other question now? Any other question? I think gentlemen, I had, uh, I had promised that we will not reach 10 today. I think we are on our time. We are 10. We'll be able to stop there for today. We'll uh, finish this topic tomorrow. Tomorrow we have our, our time. We'll finish it tomorrow. The remaining is only one more question.